When you create a new blank document, you can just start typing text into it like this. Each new word you type appears after the last one. You can see that the document quickly grows as you continue typing. You can also edit existing text. If you place the cursor in front of a word and start typing, by default what you type will be inserted in front of the existing word and will push it along. To delete a letter you can place the cursor before it and press the delete key on the keyboard or you can place the cursor after the letter and press the backspace key. And let's just get rid of this final T by pressing the delete key and get rid of this space here by pressing the backspace key. If you hold down the delete key or the backspace key then Word will just carry on deleting like this. Earlier I said that if you place the cursor before a word and then start typing what you type will be inserted before that word like this. Well that's because insert mode is on. You can toggle insert mode on and off by pressing the insert key on the keyboard. So if I press insert now and then start typing you can see that what I type replaces what's already in the document. In other words it over types it. And to switch the insert mode on again, you just press insert again and start typing. If you find that pressing the insert key has no effect on whether the text you type is inserted or over types existing text, then it's time to check out word options. And we do that by pressing the file tab, options and we need to be in the advanced section, so click advanced and use the insert key to control over type mode. So if pressing the insert key has no effect then there's a good chance that this box is unchecked. So you need to make sure that that box is checked and then click OK.